these works convey a fascinating dialogue of nature and artistry. This collection evokes this idea of being immersed in an outside world. The artists really capture those fleeting moments and transform them into timeless, tangible works of art. Sotheby's is privileged to present Timeless Nature, property from a private New York collection. This is an extraordinary collection of art, design, and objects with deep connections to the natural world with its stunning array of birds, flowers, and landscapes. Signac's Antibes Le Pointe de Bacon is a brilliant jewel tone painting that perfectly captures the luminous effervescence and tranquility of the Côte d'Azur. The ensuing war years curtailed Signac's ability to travel, resulting in his discreet series of oils featuring the artist's immediate surroundings. By this time, Signac's brushwork had become more staccato in nature, with his brushstrokes growing wider and the space between each stroke increasing, lending an enhanced sense of luminosity to his pictures. This focused period of artistic output would have lasting pictorial implications on the artist's oeuvre. Another highlight in the collection is René Magritte's Le Paysage en Feu, which was executed at the height of the Surrealist movement in the late 1920s. Here, Magritte utilizes familiar imagery of the fire and a landscape, but challenges the traditional roles of each. Rather than the fire existing within the landscape, it surrounds the landscape, framing it like a curtain, supplanting another frequent motif of Magritte's. Magritte's La Grasse Naturale is a masterful bronze. In early 1967, Magritte's primary dealer, Alexander Yolis, asked the artist if he had ever considered creating sculptures, to which Magritte immediately replied yes, and weeks later he identified a number of subjects, including his favored bird leaf motif. Among his final works ever created, bronzes like La Grasse Naturale exist as a culmination of Magritte's artistic achievement. Additionally in the collection are two Picassos, a symbolic wartime oil from 1939, and a masterful drawing of Jacqueline en Espagnol from 1955. In addition to their rarity and decades-long ownership, these works convey deep connections to the natural world when seen together and individually tell the story of each artist at a crucial moment in their careers. This collection also features a gorgeous console and mirror by the French artist Claude Lalanne. Claude Lalanne's work was really inspired by nature, particularly botanical motifs. Both pieces have unusual touches in their design that make them very special. The asymmetrical design of the console is in fact very distinct from any other console model Claude made. The bronze top of the console has a cloth-like texture. It has a really raw, warm feel to it which is something we've never seen in her work before. The mirror is adorned with a small little bird perched on one of the branches. Claude Lalanne designed other mirrors with hosta leaves in various sizes, for example, for Yves Saint Laurent, but this one is really truly special because of the bird. It's a wonderful counterpoint to the hosta leaves in their beautifully ranging patina from browns and reds and it really adds to the sculptural aspect of the mirror. We're very spoiled with this collection because there's not only one, but actually two great English George II overmantel mirrors. The first of these mirrors is just quite simply a riot of virtuoso carving. It's got wonderful sea scrolls, acanthus scrolls, rock work, shell work, Chinese man sitting in the pavilion. It really is one of the best examples of this type to come onto the market in recent memory. The second mirror is a reverse mirror picture. You would look at the mirror and you'd see the water, you'd see yourself, and you'd see the room behind you. Just create this wonderful game of reflections, a sense of fantasy and a sense of being transported to another world. This collection serves as a timeless rumination on the beauty of the natural world and embodies the innately human and eternal imperative to capture it through art.